हेलो एंड वेलकम टू वी लर्न दिस इज सेशन फाइव पार्ट टू ऑफ फाउंडेशन कोर्स इन साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी साइंस इन दी मिडीवल टाइम टॉपिक्स टू बी कवर टेक्निकल इनोवेशंस एंड इंटरवेंशंस इम्प्रूवमेंट टू दी ग्रोथ ऑफ दी साइंस इन इंडिया सो येस इन दी प्रीवियस पार्ट ऑफ द सेशन वी विल एक्चुअली गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट दी टेक्नोलॉजिकल इनोवेशंस हम इंडियन कल्चर की बात कर रहे थे इंडियन मिडीवल टाइम के अंदर किस तरीके की साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी में कंट्रीब्यूशंस हुई थी टेक्निकल इनोवेशंस और इंटरवेंशंस में यस इंडियाज कंट्रीब्यूशन इज़ अ वेरी गुड बिकॉज दे हैव द अदर बाकी जितने भी कल्चर्स है देवर ऑन देयर स्टेगनेंट स्टेज एंड येस दी कमिंग ऑफ द मुगल्स पीरियड इन दी इंडिया देवर कम अप विद द न्यू टेक्नोलॉजीज विच लीड आउट टू दी फर्दर पॉजिटिविटीज इन दी इंडियन सिनारीज इंडियन कल्चर सो इन दैट केस वी ऑलरेडी वी ऑल्सो स्टडीड अबाउट दी डिफ्यूजन ऑफ द आउटसाइड सजेस्टेड रेडीनेस एंड अवेलेबिलिटीज ऑफ इमिडिएटिंग एंड अप्लाइंग टू दी एक्सटेंड ऑफ न्यू टेक्नोलॉजीज कि किस तरीके से टेक्नोलॉजीज़ को अपग्रेड किया गया इमिटिएट किया गया एंड दे वर गोइंग टू इम्प्रूवाइज इट सो इन ये सारी स्टडीज़ हम लोगों ने अंडरस्टैंड की थी जिसके अंदर हम लोगों ने ग्रेइंग बेल्ट ड्राइव वेविंग पेपर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग एट द सेम टाइम डिस्टिलेशन आर्किटेक्चर इन सब की स्टडी की थी जहाँ पर एक ग्रेविंग ग्रेइंग हम बता रही थी अबाउट द डिवाइस ऑफ ट्रांसफॉर्मिंग दी हॉरिजॉन्टल मोशन इनटू टू वर्टिकल एंड वाइसा वर्सा वहीं पर बेल्ट ड्राइव इज बेसिकली गिविंग द आइडिया अबाउट कंपेरेटिवली सिंपलर डिवाइस व्हिच इज बेसिकली इंक्रीजिंग एंड डिक्रीजिंग द स्पीड ऑफ अ मोशन कि किस तरीके से एक स्पीड को हैंडल अप करना है सो बेल्ट ड्राइव कम्स इन इंडिया वाई दी स्प्रिंगिंग द व्हील्स एंड स्प्रिंगिंग अ व्हील इज Uh, quicken the speed of swinging by about the six folds. At the same time, uh, waving is comes up with the uh, the improvement in waving come from fifteenth century and uh, they were basically participating it. कि किस तरीके से हम लोग wavers की speed को ते अच्छा कर सकते हैं. उसमें एक pendulum form था pendulum cycling करते हुए जहाँ पर एक wavers अपनी speed को control कर सकता था and they can bringing out the good productivity in that part so at yes at the same time we will also study about the paper manufacturing in uh, in the previous session in the, that paper manufacturing we will study that yes it is what manufacturing uh, spread quickly and uh, this is what paper paper becomes so cheap that it was uh, used not only for writing but also for रैपिंग दी पर्पज ऑफ दी स्वीट मीट सेलर्स सो एक पेपर टेक्नोलॉजी नहीं आ गई थी जिससे पेपर फॉर्म बनने शुरू हो गए थे एंड दे वॉज सो पॉपुलर एंड उसकी प्रोडक्शन इतनी ज़्यादा थी कि वो बहुत ज़्यादा चीप हो गया था एट द सेम टाइम डिस्टिलेशन के अंदर क्या था दे वर दी काइंड ऑफ एन लिक्विड विच कम्स इन इंडिया इन थर्टी सेंचुरी एंड येस दे वर हैविंग अ बेसिकल आइडिया अबाउट दैट With the it is what they still seem to have been a small and efficient. This is what that is. जो हमें manufacturing के अंदर help करता था and it's in a liquid form. Um, so that comes into the uh, distillations. In architectures, we studied that yes, the architectural style of India, which was basically give, giving up the very good idea, or we can say that they bring out with the drastic change in the context. And um, the sultans and their nobles insist to have the architecture and dooms, जो कि कर्सिव dooms की pictures हमने last session में देखी थी. They were uh, basically in getting the ideas about uh, how to prepare that dooms. और बहुत सारे आज के recent हम लोग जितने भी architectures हैं, जितने भी हमारे monuments हैं, उसके अंदर हम वो dooms को देखते हैं. And uh, yes, it was the change in the building technologies. एंड uh, एक इससे एक न्यू बिल्डिंग कॉन्सेप्ट राइज हुए थे एक एक कंपेंड बाई इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ लाइम मोटर्स दैट मेड पॉसिबल द चेंज ऑफ द ट्रेब्यूट आर्किटेक्चर टू एक्यूरेट स्टाइल द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ अ ट्रू आर्ट सीम्स टू हैव बीन नोन एज ए एशियन इंडिया एशियंट इंडिया सो दिस इज वॉट द काइंड ऑफ इन स्ट्रक्चर वॉज कम्स इन टू यूजिंग ऑफ अ लाइम मोटर्स आर बेसिकली यूज टू वाटर प्रूफ फ्लोर्स एंड वॉल्स फ्रॉम दी टैंक्स सो दस इट्स बिकम पॉसिबल टू बिल्ड दी टैंक्स एंड वैट सच एज टू नीड दी प्रोड्यूसिंग इंडियन मेजर डाइंग्स एंड इंडिगोज सो इन आफ्टर दैट सो मच कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन इन टेक्नोलॉजीज द नेक कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन इज दी मिलिट्री टेक्नोलॉजीज मिलिट्रीज टेक्नोलॉजीज इज इंट्रोड्यूज इन दैट फेज 
they were basically the rope and wooden strums from the horsemen were known in the india becomes in the 13th century 13th century mein rope ya wooden stems ka use kiya jata tha in the military technologies and uh, the iron stem seems to have been introduced um iron uh, stirrups is looking to be introduced by the turkeys and uh, they this greatly improved the combat power of the horsemen also they start giving them in a power kyunki ek rope aur ek wooden stems ke baad this is what the uh the tool is made of of the iron and yes at the same time shoeing improvement the performance of the horse also um jitna zyada ek horse ke shoes uh zyada acche honge utni hi zyada uski jo running speed hai wo achhi hogi is tarike ke concepts aane lag gaye the and uh, the that is what toki is brought with them into the cross bow uh the, this is cross bow has in a traditional tube at the right angle to bow in um, the which the arrow was fitted and the tube gives the greater accuracy of the directions of that arrow and this tube seems to be direct uh, percusers of the barrel of the hand guns uh, jo guns haathon mein guns hote the and at the same time they have the kind of in a cross bow jo ki ek direction ideas dete the and the next stage of development uh, in the military technology was use of cannon and gunpowder jab ek gunpowder jo can use hone lag gaye the this is what the another stage of the uh, military technologies so this basically innovations comes in india during the later half of 15th century by the akbar time match locks and uh, their manufacturing becomes common in imperial uh, um, arsenal some improvement were attempted mainly but with a view to away with the match and strengthening the uh, barrel so in that case yes they were basically various experiment bahut sare experiments diye gaye bahut sare improvement attempt bhi hue just to bringing out the good technological part but the uh, the main manufacturing is comes into the gun and that has the most uh, we can say that the probable uh, wheel lock uh, with the gun and um, they preferred to use the gun as in a one of the technology military uh, tool in that part this is what the manufacturing of the barrel of a gun posed to be problem of the guns myth uh, we can uh, see a bow in that at the same time there were groove strings revolving nuts and discs uh, the triggers the bullet the stock so these are what the um, the stirrup so these are what the new technologies was basically created india was created with casting the heaviest uh, bronze cannons in the world at the closest of 16th century 16th century ke end hote hote india is a one of the uh, we can say that the good creator of uh, casting that heavy metals and heavy tools in their military part yes india was uh, at the same time a, an important device used in indian army was the banand rocket so this was made of in a bamboo अब जो हम लोग डायग्राम देख रहे हैं ये एक बेम्बो से बना हुआ है विद दी आयरन सिलेंडर्स कंटेनिंग दी कम्बस्टेबल मटेरियल एट दी टिप उसकी बिल्कुल टिप पे एक आयरन मटेरियल है एंड इट वाज दस इंडियन रॉकेट्स दैट इंस्पायर द इन्वेंशन ऑफ अ रॉकेट बाय इन दी अर्लियर्स नाइनटीन सेंचुरी अर्लियर्स नाइनटीन सेंचुरी में इसी से इंस्पायर होकर रॉकेट्स को बनाया गया था सो दिस इज वॉट द टेक्नोलॉजीज इंट्रोड्यूज इन मिलिट्री so military can the yes we have an a guns made up with the bamboos and having an a bow in that uh, guns another is the metal uh, screws metal screws is yes again one of the important device that has a great potential in the manufacture of the uh, uh, precision instrument and machinery was the metal screw so it comes into the use in europe from the middle of 15th century from holding the metal pieces together so a बहुत सारे मेटल पीसेस को एक टूगेदर मिक्सअप करके बनाकर एक बहुत ही इम्पॉर्टेंट डिवाइस बनाया गया था एंड इट इट इज़ व्हाट जो उसकी कैपेसिटी और जो पोटेंशियल पावर थी वो बहुत ज़्यादा हाई थी एंड दिस टूल इज़ बेसिकली यूज्ड इन द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग पार्ट ऑफ मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ऑफ एनी काइंड ऑफ इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स मैन्यूफैक्चरिंग एनी काइंड ऑफ मशीनरीज सो इट वॉज द ग्रेट इम्पॉर्टेंस इन मकैनिकल क्लॉक मकैनिकल क्लॉक के अंदर बहुत इम्पॉर्टेंट रोल प्ले किया गया था मेटल स्क्रूज ने सो वी कैन से दैट दी स्क्रू बिगेन्स टू बी यूज इन इंडिया बाई दी सेकेंड हाफ ऑफ सेवनटीन सेंचुरी वो सेवनटीन सेंचुरी में यूज़ होना शुरू हुआ था इवन इट इज़ वॉज अ लेस एफिशेंट वर्जन ऑफ यूरोपियन स्क्रूज बट 
Yes, they were used in the second half of 19th, 17th century. The grooves were not cut, but the uh, wires were scrolled around the nail and uh, create these crumbles of grooves. And this had to be done owing to the absence of lith with it. Were used in Europe and cutting the grooves. So in that case, yes, kisi bhi tarike ki ek, um, jo ki hum logo ne gun dekhi thi previous diagram mein, us, that gun ka jo trigger tha, trigger ko maintain karne ke liye, beech mein ek screw put down kiya jata tha, ta ki ek movement ho sake, uh, gun powder ki. So that is what, where this, uh, this screw is used. There was not a very sharp screw, but yes, it is used for the basic that purpose, which is start using in the 17th century. Then in ship buildings, the ship building in India, um, in industry, uh, it comes in the 17th century as well. Witness far reaching changes in the mainly resulting from the imitating the Europe technologies. Again, uh, this is one of the contributions comes from India, but yes, imitating the Europe technologies, you know, per techniques. So the Indian sea going ships um, until the first half of the 17th century were like the uh, junks by the Europeans. They were very large and supportive, uh, immense mainly sell, uh, sellers them. So there was a very large support of that. It, in some way, the imitations even improves upon uh, the original. So the Indian method of uh, riveting the plank one to the other give much greater strength than the simple clunch used in the European shipper builders. So a lime component is what the plank of the Indian ship provide an extra ordinical firm protection against the sea wits. So sea wits se bachne ke liye bohat sare ek jo extra uh, protections liye jate hain wo Indian ships ke andar liye jate the and it is what used as a one of the most extraordinary contribution which is arises in the India. However, it was an instrument used on a ship where the Indian lagged much behind Europe. So Indians uh, failed to uh, fashion the modern navigation instrument. But yes, the main instrument used on the Indian ship is still remains the astrolab. So we agree that ki India's, India ke andar wo contributions are very high nahi hai in terms of ki new technologies ko adopt karne mein, new technologies ko ship and buildings mein utilize karne ke liye. this is not as a good which is expected but yes it is what jo ek main or basic jo concepts hote hain they were always there and they were actually contributed in the astro lab um, um, and later in the 17th century also european captains and uh, navigators were employed on the indian ships and they naturally use the telescope, quadrants and other instrument also. They were imported from the Euro. But yes, they were basically used as in a um, uh, navigating Indian ships or they were the navigators of the ship just to getting the understanding of the, um, uh, the traveling or the journey part. So this is what the one of the contribution in the uh, ships. As we see in the diagram, these are what the different firing mechanisms of a gun used in the medieval time. Jo humne dekha tha bamboo tree se bana hua, that is one, the, one of the tradition and the previous one. Iske baad we can see that yes, there was a, a, um, many n numbers of the techniques. In the first one, yes, this is what a matchlock. Uh, when a trigger was pulled, a curved hammer thrust the burning cord into the hole. Um, Igniting the gun power. So this is what the kind of uh, the trigger is. Jaise hi trigger press up hoga, to yes that the gun, uh, the lock was uh, open and a burning cord to hai us hammer ko jala degi. And then in B, vehicle lock, the vehicle lock is the name of that gun, which is what pulling the trigger released on the clock type. So ek ye clock type se hi trigger ko pull up kiya jata tha and uh, hand round springs. In uh, another one, third one, this is what the flint lock. It is simple spring snapped the hammer down when the trigger was pulled. So these are what the uh, few pieces of the guns which is used in the Indian technologies. Another is the agriculture. Agriculture has been India's largest industry. Uh, till now, yes, the Indian prisons have used uh, the seeds drilled from the um, antiquities in the 17th century they practices the dibbling that is dropping of the seeds into the holes 
driven into the ground by trucks and they also practices the crop rotations in the most areas so in that case yes hostalically um development consider understand the astrocreatic patronage various type of uh, grifting were introduced in kashmir the sweet cherries were obtained by the grifting and the cultivations of the apricot was also extended by the same means so yes we can say that the crop rotation is one of the part and uh, they were we india is as very much strong in the agriculture parts it is mentioning that that around 50 crops of um, kharif and 35 of ravi seasons so there was a number of variety from region to region and most recome uh, uh, remarkable quality of the indian present was his um, readiness to accept the new crops uh, new crops ko accept karna new crops ko adopt karte hue move on nayi uh, nayi technologies nayi nayi um, प्रोडक्ट्स का एक होता है नेचुरल वे से वी विल प्रोडक्टिविटी होना दिस द न्यू क्रॉप्स इंट्रोड्यूस इन सेवनटीन सेंचुरी विच इज कम्स इन टू द न्यू वर्ल्ड वेर द टबैको एंड माजरा वॉज देर दीज क्रॉप्स कम्स टू बी ग्रोन क्विक वाइडरली बाय द फिफ्टीन सेंचुरी द प्रेजेंट ऑफ बंगाल ऑल्सो टुक अप द सेरी कल्चर्स एंड इन द सेवनटीन सेंचुरी बंगाल हैज अमर्स ऑन द great silk exporting region in the world just of getting the uh, adoptions of new new technologies bengal's become one of the greatest uh, region of that production and in that case yes there were various type of griffing uh, we were also discuss that in kashmir the sweet cherries was uh, produced so the quality of um, oranges was greatly improved by the use of same technologies so these are what the contributions in the side of the uh, agriculture part with the adoptions of new new seeds with the adoptions of new new techniques to bringing out so that lead towards the betterment in the agriculture part of indian econ uh, indian area indian region so this is what the agriculture part and next is what the improvement to the growth of in a science in the india if it is discuss about the overall growth of science in the indian economy by by the end of the 18th century indian society has become very complex it is difficult to discuss even uh, one aspect of it that is that of the science as it rose from the society and contribute to it without over simplifying it however if simplifications make sense and does not destroy the picture it is a good thing because it gives us an uh, overview which help in understanding the interactions between science and technologies so yes this is what the kind of an uh, growth arises in the indian part agar indian uh, centuries or hum log science and technology ki baat kare india's ke andar to yes it is having a one of a complex strategies but they are in the sense of simplifying the concepts of the india's and yes the the pressure of advanced technologies and knowledge was always there um and but at the same time this was the old saying that necessity is the uh, mother of the invention so whenever there was an necessity there was al always an invention so well it appears that in the spirit of periodic wars between the rulers of the various regions and state in the country there was a very considerable stability in the indian society also so the uh, population was small but yes at the same time uh, the land was fertile and even from the small land holdings india's present were able to meet the requirement of substance or they could feed and the clothing themselves so we can say that yes population is come but however there was a poor people poverty hunger of a uh, the kind was ex uh, was not ex uh, was exist there but which is not exist in a very huge amount in today's uh, india so the deprivation that we see today is largely a result of a british policies imposed on the indian economy so yes this is the impediments of the growth of science in india so yes there are few culture a uh, few questions which you have to do it yourself first is explain the absence of agriculture hampered the growth of a science in the middle india what kind of an um, agriculture contribution is there and uh, how they actually safeguards the science of the middle india at the same time you have to discuss about the uh, list few technical improvement innovations of the middle india middle india's ki jitni bhi innovations hain unke bare mein Uh, batana hai. so yes this is all about for the today's session we are winding up here thank you so much happy learning we learn